got something that might interest you. <laughs> what are you buying? An iconic line from a genre-defining game, Resident Evil 4 not only changed the Resident Evil formula, but also had a widespread impact on gaming as a whole. To this day, RE4 has to be one of the most ported titles in gaming, with a release on almost every major platform. However, which of these versions provide the definitive RE4 experience? Join us today as we take a look at some of the more prominent releases with the goal of answering the question, which version of Resident Evil 4 is worth playing in 2023? Originally released in 2005, exclusively for Nintendo's GameCube, boy did that not last long, this game marked the beginning of Resident Evil's switch from a fixed camera survival horror experience to that of a third person action shooter. Normally when a series receives a massive change like this, it isn't taken too well by the fanbase. However, in this case it led to RE4 becoming one of the most highly rated titles in the series. Taking a look at the original GameCube version, this release of the game runs in 480p, at 30 frames a second, while continuing the series staple of tank controls. When playing this title with a GameCube controller, it's barely an issue, as this version features adaptive difficulty, making the game easier if the controls leave you struggling. This version also features three different modes, the main campaign, mercenaries, and assignment Ada. When it comes to the main campaign, you take on the role of Leon Kennedy, as he's tasked with rescuing the president's daughter from a cult. In Mercenaries, you get to choose one of five different playable characters and work your way through a timed horde mode. During Assignment Ada, you play as the elusive Ada Wong as she attempts to secure Plaga samples and extract successfully. Overall, this release of Resident Evil 4 is definitely one to check out if you still happen to own a GameCube. If the GameCube isn't really your style, no need to worry. It's just a mere nine months after it's released, Resident Evil 4 was ported to Sony's PlayStation 2. In turn, ending this title's GameCube exclusivity. The PlayStation 2 version of Resident Evil 4 is virtually identical to that of Nintendo's offering, as the game still runs at 480p, but only when holding down the triangle and cross buttons during startup. This release also parallels that of the GameCube when comparing the different game modes. However, the PlayStation 2 version debuts a new campaign, Separate Ways, where you play as Ada Wong through the main campaign, showing her actions during the events of Resident Evil 4, which leaves this release one notch above the GameCube original, due to the inclusion of additional content. A popular release among fans would be the 2007 port for the Nintendo Wii. This version of the game contains all the same content the PS2 offers, but adds motion control aiming. Now, you may be wondering how motion controls make this version so popular, and to answer that question, it'd be better to just show you. As you can see, the introduction of motion controls completely trivializes one of the major hindrances of the previous releases by providing the ability to effortlessly get headshots within an instant of seeing an enemy regardless of their range, making this version of the game one of the easiest releases to pick up and play by anyone. Quiet, you little brat! In March of 2023, Resident Evil 4 received a remake for modern consoles and PC bringing along a much anticipated update to the visuals. It took what was already great and gave it an entire makeover while maintaining the feel of the original. This remake features modernized controls while also adding a few new mechanics such as a parry system. As well as bringing back many of the features present in the previous releases, the remake does have a few changes when it comes to the content. Certain enemies, areas, and side content like Ada Wong's assignment Ada in separate ways are currently missing from the game. At launch, the mercenaries mode was absent as well but has since been added as DLC, which leaves the possibility of these cut modes being added to the game in the future. This is the best Resident Evil remake yet, making this version of a game a great option to have as an updated Resident Evil 4 experience. Now that we've taken a look at some of the more notable releases of RE4, it's time to answer the age-old question, which version of Resident Evil 4 is worth playing in 2023? To be honest, any version is a great way to experience this gaming classic. However, if you're planning to only play one of the original releases, or just the remake, I would highly recommend giving both a go, as they each have their ups and downs, whether it be due to age or missing content. So with that, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below which release of RE4 was your first playthrough on, and be sure to subscribe as to not miss any new videos from the network, and we'll see you in the next one.